Hello again, Patrick here. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the hemisphere light and figuring out what it can be potentially used for. Okay, so if you remember where we left off, we had our phone shader on a simple point light that was illuminating our scene. Um, now we're going to take a look at the hemisphere light. And we're going to go basic, back to our basic scene. Again, we're using R72. Um, so why don't we go ahead and change this point light right here to a hemisphere light. And then the next value that we're going to need is going to be still, we'll continue with the red value. However, what we are going to do is add a blue color um, as our second value. So one, two, three, four for the blue. I added too many zeros. Let's fix that. Let's bring also our intensity down to one. Okay. Now you'll see we also have our positions, which are um, X, Y, and Z. Uh, we're going to move it to directly overhead. So why don't we go to uh, zero? And then in the Y, we'll do just a 6. And then in the Z, we will do a 0. So that's directly overhead. Go ahead and save that. Hit refresh. And what we have right here is a hemisphere light. Okay, so now what is this good for? Uh, what the hemisphere light essentially is going to do is going to give you kind of an approximation of light on the top and bottom. And that is going to kind of allow you to um to 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 kind of uh fake i guess a scene in uh, a, a whole scene environment so let's say we had an atmosphere or something like that and then it was on grass you would able be able to use this to kind of um impact the you be able to give it kind of that distinction of of the two separate light balances the light on top and the light on bottom okay so that's what a hemisphere light is good for uh it's good just to play around with it um, you can also uh, impact the the intensity of the hemisphere light, uh, so it's not quite as strong. We could bring this down to like a point two, for example, and refresh on that, and then you can barely see it right there. But maybe bring it up. This just is going to be good. It's it's good supplemental lighting. Um, it can be used for if you were, for example, doing a um, a three scene light or something along that lines. You could have this be your kind of your third light or something approximately. Um, so anyways, that is the basics of a hemisphere light. I'll show you a more complex example in the next tutorial. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe.